Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stone Smart Live. So Stone Smart is a Boston Scientific thought leadership program focused on cultivating conversations about your most challenging stone cases. And the Stone Smart Forum is an interactive site on Urology Times, where you can view stone case studies and discuss challenging urology issues with all of your peers as you all advance uh, the science of endourology. Now, we are here today at the 2017 World Congress of Endourology in Vancouver for a live discussion of some of the cases that are featured on stonesmart.urologytimes.com. Now, today, I am so pleased to have Dr. Cho with me as our guest. Sung Young Cho is a urologist and assistant professor at the Borromei Medical Center of Seoul National University in Korea. Welcome, Dr. Cho. And he just informed me that Song Yong is the same as Jackie Chan, <laughs> so he's, he is a rock star and a movie star today, we, so we're really ha happy to have him here. How are you today? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know I didn't embarrass you, did I? <laughs> Thank you for your invitation. I'm very pleased to be here. Yeah. Well, we're really happy to have you. Um, now, um, stone dusting is a, a, is a, a technique for um, uh, treating kidney stones. Urologists tell us that they need an effective way to really maintain visibility and, and evacuate dust during the procedure. Um, now, Dr. Cho developed an interesting new approach to this challenging problem. Um, he uses a double lumen catheter to optimize visibility of the surgical field and efficiently evacuate dust. Now, the cases that he shared on the Stone Smart Forum demonstrates his treatment of a 44-year-old male with an 8-millimeter stone in his left kidney. Now, Dr. Cho, I would like to play the section of your case study that shows your dusting and evacuation technique, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I use the dual lumen catheter for evacuating dust and the one channel is connected to a continuous irrigation system and the other is connected to the suction. So now I put the dual lumen catheter through the ureter access to the renal pelvis and the, because of the characteristic of dual lumen catheter, the, the tip of the dual lumen catheter is located to the, only the upper pole calyx. So the essential points are patient should be uh, lie in the trend element position, so head down. And at the start of the procedure, I move the stones from lower pole to upper pole, the single, as, as far as I can, into the single upper calyx. And the stones can gather in the upper calyx, and I do dusting technique. And if the stones are changed into the small particles to go out through the channel of the dual lumen catheter, then I started to evacuate the dust through the dual lumen catheter. And dual lumen catheter is size is 10 French, so I use, usually use the 1113 uh, French electoral access shares of Boston Scientific. So I do alternatively uh, irrigation and suction, uh, irrigation and suction more than 10 times. I do the back and forth movement of the dual lumen catheter to maximize the efficiency of evacuating dust. The procedure should be gentle you know, movement. If the ureter and upper pocalis is straight enough, you can effectively use this technique. So you can see almost all dust already removed through the dual lumen catheter there. Well, that certainly is a creative approach to this difficult challenge. So I want to ask you how small you try to get the fragments in order for this technique to be effective and efficient without clogging the catheter. Yeah, the dual lumen catheter has two uh, uh, holes, and one is located in the distal tip and the other is this, uh, the left side. So I think the, the, the side hole is larger than the distal, uh, uh, the hole in the distal tip, so I think, I thought, I need to uh, remove the, the stones and residual fragments through the side holes first. And, but the, si the whole size is at around one, just one, mil one millimeter size. So I think uh, the only uh, the small fragments less than one, mil one millimeter can be retrieved by the side hole. Okay, so um, are you able to remove stone fragments that otherwise would potentially not pass naturally when using this evacuation technique? Yeah, the, uh, in my surgical database, the, the dust 
unexpectedly. The, 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 the dust would not go spontaneously so easily during the post-operative one year. The passage rate was just only less than 30%. So I need to remove, retrieve these dust uh, post-operatively. So I thought the necessity of any, any type of device. Because I found the dual lumen catheter in my hospital because, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think the two channels is necessary. The one is for irrigation and the other is for the retrieve the small dust. And I think this, this can be quite efficient to, for me to re retrieve the dust uh, the, during the surgery, the, at the end of surgery. Okay. And how many times do you alternate between manual irrigation and suction to clear, let's say, a uh, one centimeter stone, for example, and, and how long would it take to typically um, complete that process? At first, I just tried three to four times retriever by th using this dual lumen catheter, but it was not efficient. So uh, recently, I performed a 10 times a set. And, uh, a set can maybe 10 times alter alteration, alternation between irrigation and suction. So after I performed 10 times irrigation and suction, I check uh, the, sta the, the status of the remnants uh, particles. Okay. And how do you assess progress of stone evacuation? I mean, do you have direct visualization yeah, throughout okay. the irrigation suction, or do you have to stop and check periodically? Yeah, the, because the fluoroscopy has uh, some limitations to identify some remnant fragments in the renal pelvis. And so I, I think the direct visualization is necessary. So after I perform 10 times irrigation and suction, I, I put the flexible ureteroscopy into the ureter access schist to, uh, to visualize, to see, identify right. the presence of remnant particles. And if there are so many, until, uh, so many uh, particles until then, they I, I perform the 10 times irrigation and suction again. And usually only takes five minutes, uh, uh, five minutes and, and uh, maybe one or two set would That's be enough great. to retrieve the almost all dust. Well, that's very efficient. Yeah. Now, what is your protocol for follow-up postoperatively? Usually, I think the after IRRS, there must be some uh, fragments, uh, very small fragments. So X-ray uh, has a, a very limitation to identify it is, uh, the small particles postoperatively. So I think the uh, CT scan uh, is necessary. But I uh, I organized, I discussed this, uh, the perform uh, performing the checking. The CD scans with my uh, radio radiologist in my hospital, so uh, I uh, we uh, prepare some protocols uh, of uh, less radiation exposure. So non-contrast, low uh, radiation CT uh, is, is prepared in my hospital. So I usually check the CD scan uh, within one or two months postoperatively when. Uh, my patients visit my uh, consultation clinic. Oh, great. Now, I know that we were half joking about how your name translates to Jackie Chan, <laughs> yeah, but you okay. have gotten a lot of attention having participated on the Stone Smart Forum. Yeah. And as a urologist um, ha participating in the Stone Smart uh, Forum, what has it been like um, being a doctor in Korea, participating in it and getting so much attention? And, and would you encourage doctors out there to participate and, and even share their own case studies? I already recom I recommended to my to, to several uh, peers to join this kind of uh, smart program because uh, we can uh, collaborate uh, many things with other uh, colleagues in other mm -hmm. countries and we can give some our information to them. So I think this is a very efficient way to communicate with uh, other people in foreign countries. So I, I think that I should, uh, I will uh, actively recommend this program. Yeah, actively to my recommend. I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, our time is up then. Um, thank you so much for a most <laughs> okay. interesting discussion. We're really happy you could be here. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Now, you can view Dr. Cho's full case and join the online discussion on the Stone Smart Forum. So just go to um, stonesmart.urologytimes.com. And to learn more about Boston Scientific's portfolio of solutions um, for your most challenging stone cases, go to bostonscientific.com slash stonesmart.